Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, today what we're going to do is we're going to put a little preamp card in this amplifier. This is a 20 watt Class A amp, and it needs a little preamp in it. Okay. Now I'm building this for a buddy. He's got a new turntable, and I thought it had a line input, but it turns out it does have an amplified input, but it's it only puts out 140 millivolts. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this little preamp card in this thing, which will boost the signal uh, 10x. Okay, it'll give it 10 times amplification. So that will take it at 1.4 volts, which is plenty. Okay, when we took it over there, we we're only getting got less than five watts, and so I couldn't quite crank it as loud as I thought it should go, but it still sounded good. Now I didn't listen to the amplifier that we took off to put this on and he said it was night and day different so this weekend I'm going to take this back over after I put this little preamp in here and we're going to do it before and after so I'll get a listen to the amplifier he's been listening to and he's been anxious ever since I took it over there and uh, he's wanted to listen to this thing it has actually been a couple weeks because last weekend was the uh, vacation that turned into a hospital stay <laughs> so anyway uh, but yeah so it's been a couple weeks so he's been dying to get this back uh, playing again so all right let's bring the camera over I'll show you the board and I'll show you the setup we'll go over a little math real quick and uh, yeah we'll look at the signals let's just bring the camera over and jump in this video all right guys tops off it's uncovered now, first of all, these big old bolt caps I'm going to add to the power supply rails, they're not even connected yet. But what you can see is how the heat sinks with each channel with the big old transformer down here, the rectifiers down here, which I'm going to cover all this build. I kind of, you know, skip to the final build here. Uh, I've got two sets of RCA connectors input. They're all paralleled. I'm going to talk about all this connection in another video okay kind of the final build video what I want to say is that I've got both channels hooked up I don't have the final capacitance bulk capacitance wired in yet and also I'm gonna shorten up some of these wires in here but for right now when I put in 140 millivolts into this connector RCA jack here my output is right up there okay and it is it you can't see it from there maybe 4.96 volts rms so it's only a few watts right now guys okay so we're only you know i've been working trying to get 20 watts and i got up to 29 watts changing the op amp that but right now we're only getting like three watts out because of his uh turntable limited 140 millivolts okay now, I knew it had a line out, so, uh, you know, a lot of times turntables don't have a large signal output, but I, I knew it had a line out, but I didn't realize it was only 140 millivolts. I should have. That was my mistake, but it only it's limited to 140 millivolts. A line out, I would think, would go up to one or one and a half volts or something like that, but anyway, let me know what you guys think about that, but turntables uh, without a preamp out, are always a low signal this one has preamp out so i expected more 140 millivolts what i get when i inject that in here i get that i get 4.96 volts so only a few watts okay now here let me show you something if i'm using my hioki meter the 42a2 awesome meter 100 kilohertz bandwidth 60,000 count love this meter just did a review on it anyway I'm going to do a follow-up review. It has a decibel reading, okay? Right now, it's not reading anything because it's I've got everything shut down. But I'm going to turn up power, okay? And you're going to watch me. I'm going to hook it to the input, and then I'm going to go over to the output. And you can see the decibel change. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, power's on. Okay, minus 16.66. And you can see 1 kilohertz on the meter. Dual display, love that meter. Okay, now I'm going to go to the output, and 13.84, okay? So there you go. There's the gain of the amplifier, and that's what we're getting out. 
All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but mine is 16.66 volts is or dB what we're seeing. So divide that by 20 because 20 times the log of whatever your gain is, is your amplitude. So let's reverse it. Let's divide that by 20 and then take the anti-log and we get 146.9 ah, millivolts, okay? And 140 millivolts is what I have that set for. So everything looks like it's checking out. All right, so 13.84 dBs is what I got out. And so let's divide that by 20 and take the anti-log and we got 4.92. I'm seeing about 4.96. So it looks like we're right, you know, it looks like everything's checking out, okay? Okay, guys, just go over the math. The gain before and after uh, with the preamp for this, what we call the 20 watt amplifier uh, board. The input is 140 millivolts from the turntable, so that's always the same before and after. The measured, you know, gain from that, minus 16.87 dB, which when you do the math, that comes out to an actual 143.38 millivolts. The measured output was 13.84 dB. When you do the math, that's 4.92 volts. And when you take the gain in volts, the output volts over the input volts is 34.41. Then if you convert that into decibels and decibel volts, then it's the log of that and 20 times that. So that's 30.73 dB. Or you could have just taken these two dB numbers we measured and take the first one and minus where you start from. So we started from minus 16, so that's really plus. So it comes out to 30.71. So you can see they come out very close. Okay, so then after we added that little preamp board that has a fixed gain of 10, voltage gain of 10. and decibels, that's 20 times log of 10, which is 20 dB. So we added 20 dB gain. So we should have the 30.71 that we started with plus 20, we should have 50 dBs, 50.71. So is that enough? Well, for 29 watts, uh, we need 15.23 volts out for 8 ohm load. Okay, so 15.23, and if we only have 140 max coming in, is what started the problem in the beginning, is we really need a gain of 108. Uh, up there, we had a gain of volts of 34.41. That wasn't enough, right? So now if we convert that to log so that we can see if we have enough, we just uh, take the log of 108, 20 times that, comes out to 40.73. So we should have 50.7 dB of gain available to us, and we only need, need 40.73. So therefore, we should have plenty of gain now. Dude, we're just starting off with just not enough amplitude on the output. So we need to put this little card, this little dude right here, we need this little card, and what it has is input, left, right channel, output, left, right channel, and then the voltage, okay? So we have to put the plus minus voltage here. Same voltage we're feeding this op amp down here with, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the voltage off one of these supply rails, come up here and feed this. So I think one card is going to supply the voltage for both input signals to come through here and then they're going to leave and then go back into the cards. Okay, so I got to, right now, the, uh, the signal comes in, goes up to the knobs and then goes back to the cards. What I'm going to have to do is stick this in between there somewhere. All right, so I have the option of taking the signal, running it th up here through the knobs, through the volume control and then putting the card putting this card in that line to feed the amplifier okay so the small signal has to do all that I think what I want to do instead is when the signal comes in amplify it right away so that a small signal doesn't have a chance to pick up any noise so small signal come in get boosted up right away and then go to the volume control knobs and then through that it's a series connection. Either way, the output's going to see the amplifier is going to see the same signal coming in into the input connector. But I think what I want to do is amplify it first thing. So I've got to break this signal here, stick this in there. Okay, let's do that. All right, and here is the schematic I came up with. The little board has the power and input and output connector. I need to write input and output on that. 
and it doesn't have a lot of components they're all surface mount has uh, this power supply rail so it's interesting because the voltage comes in plus minus goes through 100 ohm resistor to 10 mic caps and the 10 mic caps are aluminum electrolytic so what's nice about having the 100 ohm resistor there is I could come over to the op amp and put Zener diodes on it to clamp the voltage because this is the NE5532 which doesn't carry as much voltage as the op amp and the amplifier okay and I don't need it because I'm only going to get out about 1.4 volts it has a gain of 10 and a max inputs can be 140 millivolts so has feedback resistor 100k input 10 so it's actually gaining a negative 10 it's actually going to flip the signal 180 so it's going to invert it which I think it's okay because both channels are going to get inverted so yeah I think that'll be all right but uh, anyway there we go yeah I'm kind of curious that they didn't run into positive have a gain of 11 just so you don't invert the signal but anyway that's where it came very simple small parts count and you want to notice that there's no capacitive input and neither is there one on the amplifier so it should have good base response because it's just got the servo loop on the output driving uh, if there's any DC offset driving that input to regulate the output so there's no DC offset other than that there's no capacitive input alright guys so our board our input and our output and our power okay now the power this is a plus side the yellow and the red is actually the minus and the ground is the black so here let me try to squeeze this down in here and it goes to this comes in goes to the top of this resistor here if I can make a connection there we go and then the other side of the resistor is 100 ohms and then the other side of the 100 ohm resistor comes to pin 8 right there so there we are so that's the plus input pin 4 is the minus input it's the output of this 100 ohm resistor so what I'll do is I'm going to place these zener diodes between the 100 ohm resistor and ground okay so that way uh, the resistor will drop the voltage and we'll have these zeners clamping the voltage to safe voltage for this now this capacitor right here is for the plus side that's the minus so I can put these zener diodes right across this for the plus and right across that for the minus okay guys what I've done is I've got uh, two zener diodes in series I soldered these together I trimmed the leads I'm going to trim the leads of those I took two of these 9.1 so we'll have just over 18 volts on each rail which uh, 22 volts is max so that'll be safe and two 1 watt zeners will be plenty because that'll give us 2 watts capable dissipation and that will be no problem okay I admit it looks kinda not so hot but it's functional to work so I got two zener diodes in series. One end starts to this 100 ohm resistor. The other one down the ground terminal down here. And then the other one to this 100 ohm resistor. And they're going the opposite direction because the plus, this is a minus voltage. So the plus would be down here. So, uh, you know, the cathodes are down here going up to there. So we got our two 18 ohm or 18 volt zener diodes essentially right there plus minus coming in so now we got plus minus voltage coming in and it'll be held to right around 18 volts to protect that uh, any 5532 all right so I've got the little board in here I've got tie wrapped in there zoom in on that thing a little bit all right so you can see I've got it tie wrapped and let me just zoom out just a little bit and so the output the input cable comes right in here and it's picking up right and left off of these two RCA jacks coming in and then the output comes out and it breaks off into this board and then it comes over here into that board so then from there it goes up to the pots up front so now we've got a little amplification alright and so I've captured a signal 
we're at about 14.56 just before the distortion starts and I think we're starting to clip in the power supply so I need to get those bulk capacitors in there but we're up almost 15 volts and there we go and that's with the 140 millivolts input so now we can amplify uh, the phono output to full volume and we still have some room to go on the uh, pot. All right, so now I'm going to show you the signal that we have going in, the dB value. It's 16.66 dB volts. Okay, and you can see right below it, 1 kilohertz. Uh, go ahead and turn on the power. We got a, we're looking at dB on the output, 23.28 dBs, 1 kilohertz. I'll freeze that. Hey guys, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, put your comments down below all that stuff uh, I was trying to keep the amplification the preamp very simple so that we didn't it, it's still a DC input you saw the schematic it's still pretty clean input just a 10x which isn't a lot of gain if you you know the more gain you get the less bandwidth in an amplifier in an op operational amplifier or any kind of amplifier uh, so anyway a gain of 10 you know we're not in a we're going to do a full out test of this thing later, but what do you guys think so far? And hey, I want to thank my patrons. I always want to uh, give them a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. And give the video a thumbs up. Appreciate that. It helps the YouTube analytics, helps the channel, all that kind of stuff. And uh, what do you guys think? Now, this is a small box, it's compact. I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit. So, yeah, it doesn't, it's not the best construction, but it's not too bad, right? Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've been on that. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Next video, we're going to look at the distortion before and after we add those bulk capacitors to the power rails so we can smooth off that ripple. All right? And uh, I think I'm going to do that before this weekend. So you'll see that video coming up real quick, too. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.